The Vans World Cup of Surfing here at Sunset Beach. Heat number two is completed. They just posted the last couple of scores for early indications that Charlie Martin wasn't going to get the score. He needed a 304. He gets a 323 and advances through with Benji Brand. Now we take to heat number three. William Cardoso, Midi, Miminardi, Alex Smith, and Keikoa Casimiro. USA, Canada, excuse me, USA, UK, South Africa, French Polynesia. Uh, they've won this event. One each as we take a look at top seed. The big panda himself, 11 years as a pro, William Cardoso from Santa Catarina. And Cardoso, well, he has, does not lack any strength or power. He can match what Sunset gives him. He's just looking for it. He starts off, he'll go to the bottom of the barrel in terms of priority, but he's got a way. What I love about William Cardoso is uh, his versatility. I mean, you know, he look at his build, he is a big boy, but he can surf it with the best of him and the smaller stuff as well. And uh, you come to Sunset Beach, you're going to match power for power. So he is one of those great guys that you, can, you cannot count him out in any event. Uh, finalist at Huntington Beach with his complete start contrast to this wave out here, which he could also be a finalist. So uh, 2000, 2014, up against Philippe Toledo. You go, oh, these waves are perfect, Toledo. What's with this guy over here? He looks like a linebacker. Oh, incredibly quick, right, Pete? Absolutely, and it, uh, it's something that we love watching, especially even places like this. Bim Minardi right here from St. Lou, Reunion Island, the 24-year-old, number 61 in the rankings. Well, he's number, uh, let's see, in the QS, I believe, after 11 events, number 200. And there is uh, Alex Smith, a 24-year-old from Kilauea, Kauai. And Alex, I'm thinking you're going to be, uh, want to be at least a quarterfinalist or semifinalist at Haleiwa and have a good result here, and you have a shot at the Vans Triple Crown. Here's Alex Smith. Smith with a beautiful wave, nice top turn. Releases the rail so smooth and to the inside here. It's gonna back off, but where he's at is kind of where we see that inside bowl section. And as the waves look like they're starting to fill in. You know, the bigger it gets, the direction that we're seeing right now, you know, that inside bowl will start to come into play, but ultimately, the beginning stages of this, of this swell are going to come out of that westerly direction, which when you see those big sets come, they're going to come and they're going to hit that west ball, which is outside of the inside ball. It'll actually lift out there as we watch the replay here of Alex Smith. This wave, you know, already kind of on the reform section, but look at that. Big long arc, throws a layback turn in there, wraps the cutback, and then the wave dies out in the channel. So a uh, pretty good wave here for Alex Smith to get started. Now remember, he was fifth at the HIC this year, just about a finalist, and then he was runner-up to Miles Padock in 2010. The sponsor me now, Dahui Pro Event here back, 2010, a one-star event. Yeah, you could win 40 grand and uh, 10,000 points. He's like kind of in awe, like, well, wow, really? Should I believe that? Yeah, you should. Uh, your surfing is right there. You're a young, up-and-coming surfer in this sport. Believe, as he's done uh, 20 grand is going to help him out. He'll be, uh, that's a lot of Rand in South Africa. Alex Smith, a couple of turns, remember his first wave of 5.0, sitting in a good spot. That's his second wave. Maybe not a keeper, showing some interest. Viminardi. Viminardi, the goofy footer from St. Lou, Reunion Island in the Indian Ocean. Just off the east coast of Africa, Madagascar. Used to warm weather, warm water. Maybe not quite as adept. A lot of the go-to spots here, the surfers, sometimes they don't surf sunset enough. I think it's Sean Thompson in 97. It was, I was right the first time. Yeah, well, why do you change your mind? I don't know, because I thought of the first South African winner, but I thought Jordy, Jordy did made a final here, but he never won. Trivia question, who was the first Hawaiian? Well, you, know, you mean the second winner? The second Hawaiian winner. Uh, Dink Aloha. Yeah, powerhouse day. And yeah. Then came the Ho Dynasty in What do I win, Dave? What do I win? You win Chris Cote's I yeah, that action. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what Chris Cote has to offer, though. Good wave for Kate Color Casimiro right there. Nice backhand slam to finish it. He waited a long time for it. We're down to 14-10 on the clock, his first wave. Your leader, Alex Smith. You can see that angle of that set really west. See how it sweeps across your screen from left to right? Late takeoff, which is going to be norm for the next couple hours. Powerhouse William Cardoso. What a big move. Throaty section oh. ahead. He goes, I'm going to avoid that. Yeah. 
And take a look at a couple of waves marching through again. A lot of west on this swell, right, Pete? Yeah, when it starts out, when you talk about the maturity of a swell, what it'll do is it moves across from the west of the Pacific through to the east. You'll start out with that westerly angle, which pushes from the left to right in your screen. Well, look at this turn here from the Panda. Big arc, beautiful turn there. And he was hoping to get another one here, and that way it shuts down in front of him, wasn't able to get there quick enough. It's going to be a pretty good score, though. I think that was uh, one of the bigger waves we've seen so far. It was on that big west peak uh, and a nice, solid turn. We saw a 6.2 get awarded to Koa Smith in the heat previous. Um, so I would say that that's going to be, you know, right around that range uh, just by the, the quality of the turn. Willie Cardoso's got a wave to come through. Let's see if it's going to vault him up into the lead. It could. Stay with us as we continue with live action. And uh, as we left you, we did see a wave of William Cardoso, and William Cardoso got a 5.77. He went from fourth to first. Now he's trying to better a 2.50. He is not back into the lineup, does not priority yet, but let's take a look. Yeah, here's just a quick wave for William, trying to back up that last score. Goes up and over the lip and just awarded a 0.57. But again, has that 2.5 from the very beginning of the heat, and he's building. And you know, we're going to see these scores do it a lot to that arc on the inside section. And then William, look at this, beautiful arc, bang. Not able to get any other turns on this wave, but it's his best wave so far, and the best wave of the heat, a 5.77. Very similar to Kekoa's wave, or Koa, Koa Smith's wave, actually, uh, when we saw one big move and a big score. Surfer with priority is Alex Smith. He is currently in uh, the second spot right now, but it is the Minardi. And right now he's looking for a 4.61 and the big loudspeakers on the beach. There's speakers for the, the beach PA and then there's one specific speaker that they turn on and it blares out and hopefully they can hear it. Still a lot of wind. They're expecting winds well, 15 to 18 knots. Well, let's watch Keikoa here. You know, we didn't get to see the beginning of this wave. Starts off with a nice car. Little stumble there, but able to get into the lip and creates that last final move. So nice work for Keiko. I think this is going to be his best wave so far. He does have a 2.77 in his scoreline already. Um, but he's over there. He's not really necessarily communicating um, scores that they need. That's not something that he does. What he does do, though, is throw out some comparisons, as we'll get back to that in a moment. Indeed, yes. Comparisons. We take a look at the third wave, trying to better a 2.93. This is your surfer in the second spot. A 4.0 would easily have him jump up. He uses his priority, Alex Smith. Let's see if it helps his cause, and probably won't at this point. 3.55 on the clock, Pete. I think the most important part of any kind of judging panel, we'll get back to that in a sec, Dave. We'll talk about comparisons, one big move. And now he's really kind of committed to the inside, a long paddle, and he's staying upright. Now what's he going to do? Who's going to take me out to the lineup? He's inside Val's Reef. It will reform. He can. I don't think he can come back right and just floats out of it. He was heading to shorts right there. Don't know if that's going to help him. William Cardoso looking to replace a 2.50 and hold on to the lead with 3.20 on the clock. It's about the scale in that judging panel. That is the most important part of the entire judging elements is to make sure that you stick to scale. And, uh, you know, you st and that's where you compare waves. So you won't really necessarily look at the score and go, is it the score? You just got to look at the waves, and then you determine, is it a better than the, the, what the scale you've already set? And the, ju uh, the judges are not looking at the computer screen like the head judge does. Not a 2.15 on the clock and another little mini. Well, look at this set. not mini. It's a set, and it's breaking way out there. I mean, that's what's going to happen, too, is that you wonder which surfers will start to make that move to that outside section. And uh, as you get down to these last 10 seconds, Keikoa playing very, very smart. Well, it looks like this wave will break beyond them. They might be out of position. We count it down. Three, two, one. It is a done deal. And William Cardoso, the 29-year-old out of Brazil, takes the win.